Hey, how's it going? You got time for a beer? My name's Jake. This is my show. Um, I got a new beer for you. I actually have not had this one. It is Thursday. Um, new brew Thursday, sort of. I had my new brew last night, though, at like midnight-ish. Uh, it was a Leinenkugel chocolate stout. Pretty good stuff. Maybe it was chocolate porter. I don't remember. It was a darker beer. Chocolatey. Delicious. Um, this one is an apple pie cider from Dimes Brew House in Diamonddale, Michigan. A uh, very small place, lots of big flavors. I, the, the yeast there is very clean. I like it a lot. Um, it could have just been the company that I was there with, but that's something completely different that I don't know that I want to talk a lot about, but I might, who knows, we'll find out. Um, let's see, what else, else does it say on here? According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Uh, two, consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. You're telling me. Uh, also says here, your friendly village brewery, 6.3% uh, alcohol, 11.5, probably a canned on date would be my guess. Brewed and canned by Dimes... Brewhouse, LLC, Diamonddale, Michigan. Uh, please recycle. And that's pretty much what it's got on it. I bought the uh, bought the mug. I mean, it's a beer can class. And the t-shirt, which I, I like these t-shirts from breweries. They're fun. Let's get this thing going. Oh. Not super carbonated, which is probably pretty okay. I mean, it is a cider. Looks fairly unfiltered, which is fine. It's a cider. Looks fruit fly -y. I don't think that actually came from in there. I think that's from in the glass. Not that this glass has been sitting there long. I, I had it. I bought it today. So there's a pretty good chance that that was there, and I just didn't rinse it out. Let's grab a thing and wipe up my mess all right so that's the beer um it's a cider i mean it says apple pie on it so my guess is it's going to be sweeter than normal which is cool i like sweet ciders they're nice um not quite as good as a dry cider i had one cider one time that was um that was made with a champagne yeast it was amazing especially the second time i had it because it was like six months later so dry Made you want another glass now. All right. Lots of cinnamon. Definitely sweet. It's a little thicker. Um, a lot sweeter than what I was expecting. Um, not dry at all. Like, it actually tastes like there might be milk in there. Uh, the last one that I, I was talking about, mouthfeel and how oatmeal can make it feel like your mouth is more full. This almost tastes like there's oatmeal in it. Um, it could just be a lot of extra sugar. It could be that there's, um, that there's milk in it. Well, milk, um, lactose would be that, uh, the milk sugars, because those don't ferment with the same stuff as, as most alcoholic yeasts do. So it could be that, but this is very, has a very full mouthfeel. Um, it's good. This is this is one of those things where if I didn't have a problem with my teeth, I could drink these all day long and have no problem. But I had sensitive teeth, so we're like cold not so much, but sweets, especially the stuff that's like too sweet, sweet tarts, love them. Um, my teeth do not. So I can only have a few of them at a time, which that's fine, but they're a treat, not something I have to have all the time. Um, yeah, so that's what it's like. Uh, what beer does this remind me of? Actually, <laughs> it reminds me of apple pie. Not like the, the kind that you make with, well, I mean, with apples, and you, you do, but like the moonshine that you would make. So you put the, put all the stuff in it, apples and, um, cinnamon sticks, stuff like that, into your moonshine, heat it all up, get it nice and warm, filter it, put it back in a bottle, 
and it tastes like this. So, you know, super awesome, super easy to drink, but it's moonshine. So it should taste like fire, but it doesn't. It tastes like delicious. That's what it tastes like. Like you could have six of them this big and it wouldn't be a big deal, but it would be a big deal because it's like 80 proof alcohol. That's a lot. Like six beers. No, that's not true. It's like four light beers. No, that's not true. It's like 10 light beers. 40% alcohol. Yeah, 10 light beers. That's a lot. A lot, a lot. The day off of work today, it was great. Um, just kind of hung out, went to a brewery, was good. Um, spent money there, but not many, many other places. Didn't go do anything super special. Well, that's not true, but I'm not going to tell you about it. Um, got to drive my, uh, my Mustang because my catalytic converter is still not in at the Ford dealership. Um, so waiting on that still. I wish people would stop stealing catalytic converters. It is not cool. Not at all. Because it takes forever and nobody's expecting these things to be gone, apparently. So I'm still waiting. And it's been like two weeks. A solid two weeks. I should probably call to see if they're actually ever going to get one in. They were hoping this last week that they'd have it, but apparently no. It is weird, though, because apparently it happens really super fast. You can get a catalytic converter off in under 10 minutes, so. I'm missing a bunch of them. Apparently you can get a bunch of money for them, so. I mean, good for them, but I would, it makes everything super inconvenient for the rest of us. So. Hope you enjoy your drugs. It does make me wonder if it's really actually worth it. Ten minutes of worth for a hundred bucks? It'd be worth it. But also, you're a thief. And that's not cool. Um, does it remind me of any other stories? I don't know. Reminds me of the hunting cabin. That's coming up. Should be super duper fun. I don't. I might only get one of these out next week. We'll see. Maybe I'll do one during the week and save that till later. Because I'm definitely going to be out opening day, the 15th. And then I've got the weekend off too. So... There's my one day off, and my other day off is somewhere around in Friday, Saturday area. And then I get Sunday off. And then I work, like, forever. I get Wednesday off, which is nice. But work on Thanksgiving. And those are my Sunday, and, and that Wednesday are my days off. But I'm getting paid for the Sunday, so that Thanksgiving is going to be, like, double time. The entire time because it'll be extra 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 it'll be awesome I make bank it'll be great getting so close it's almost time got a good quote from a dragon if you will Good stuff. I would have another, but I don't have another, so I'm not going to. Okay, so the quote today is from Bill Gates. See, like I said, dragon. He sits on his hoard of money and collects more of it. He changes the will of all the people around him. Anyway, he says, if you show people the problems and you show people the solutions, they will be moved to act. Right. So, I mean, they, they acted. 
back in the day. And they cut off the aristocracy's heads. So it's a solution to problems that some of the problems that we're having. You know, dragons. It's a thought. Not likely, but a thought. You can find me on Untapped, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all at tubajake underscore 69. Um, follow me. It doesn't take much. It makes me feel better. I love it when you guys watch my videos. Commenting is great. I like those too. I'll try to respond to all of them. Um, so yeah. Thanks. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Untapped YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, tubajake underscore 69. Um, come back. Watch a video when you got time for a beer. Oh, man. Turned off on me. Yeah. It's back on, though. See you later. You got time for a beer.